Reading a new book is like waking up to a new morning, a sunrise tickling you full of anticipation of what the day has to offer. Just as much as there is excitement to start the day, there is this unleashed enthusiasm for the new characters and places you get to explore, the travels you are going to embark on without ever leaving the comfort of your seat. And believe me, diving into the world of a book can be just as exciting as going on a real-life adventure. When a story touches you so deeply that you can't ignore this feeling of joy and sadness and anticipation all at once, you have found a real gem. You have to cherish that moment and hold on to it for as long as possible. Before you know it, it will vanish. In times of social media, it is easy to get sucked into your newsfeed at all times, developing an anxiety of missing out, losing out on information or opinion pieces now considered as much part of your life as your daily meals, scrolling for hours without an end in sight. The world of books is somewhat of an antidote to modern applications. You sit down somewhere quiet or not and enter a new world the moment you lay eyes on the first page. Your head has to imagine what the characters look or sound like, how the streets they walk on smell, and watch out for little details making the story. Rather than watching thousands of videos every week that look exactly the same, you get a glimpse into the author's mind and create a new world in your head guided by the words of the writer. I have always loved reading, ever since I was a little girl, and that love for words has never vanished. There are always times when I'm reading more or less, faster or slower, more mindful or more indulgent, and that is the way of life too. It's the beauty of books. They are enjoyment and education at once. There is a wonderful quote by Anna Quinlan on reading I like to remember. Books are the plane and the train and the road. They are the destination and the journey. They are home. A good book takes you on a journey while reading, but a really great book has you so enchanted that you never ever dare to forget about it. You think about it days or weeks or even years later, and hopefully it changes your life forever. That's when a book becomes a home. <laughs>